We are legends. In this final episode of We Are Legends, the unofficial podcast for DC Legends Mobile, we discuss our future plans and also discuss what we would like to see DC Legends doing going forward to end the year or next year. So let's get right to it. Today with me I have Kage and Ogre Barbarian. So we just had our Black Friday sales, which can't say I was overly thrilled with them. Um, what did you guys think? Interesting concept on one of them. Yeah, the Doomsday one sounded cool, but unfortunately it seems like everyone that bought it, nobody cracked 109. Which, I'm like... Yeah, I think Joker said he got 118. I think he might have been the only one. But yeah, I think that was the only one that I saw that... I, I do have to say, the shop people, you gotta... You gotta get to make it so at least a couple people get in the 200s or 300s so that it's worth. If it's if it's one hundred to eleven hundred, yeah, there needs to be some variance other than one hundred and ten. Yeah, like and, seriously, because there's no reason not to just buy the twenty four ninety nine six thousand gems plus one hundred thousand essence and sixty frags instead. Yeah, like <laughs> I do have to say, I'm very happy that Mirror Master came in at the good sale because I needed about eighty shards to finish him to L five. So now the only character I don't have the ability to go L5 with is Suicide Squad Deadshot. I would have figured you farmed the crap out of his heroic a couple months ago. I must have missed it and not gone all the way. I don't know what I was thinking or what happened there. I may not have been going L5 with everyone yet. I don't know. For some <laughs> reason, I didn't finish him. He was the like only... You goofed. Yeah, he's like, he was like one of the only one. He Actually, he is the only one. Everybody else is done. So, Except for Suicide Squad Deadshot, which he's my white whale. Yeah, that one sale. I remember, I remember taking myself for only getting turret at L1. Yeah, I just I've learned the hard way. Just to get it, get all the shards you need, even if you don't like the character at the time. Yeah. Because <laughs> you never know when they'll suddenly mm-hmm. be different. The other change that Wait. we had happen not too long ago that we were going to bring up that we didn't get to talk about was the change to the shards where you can see over your max level, which I can't believe how many shards I have with some of these characters. <laughs> <laughs> That how many Hunter stars do you have? Oh well, Hunter's I only had L four, so I knew how many I had of her. But I have, I have a ton. It's all I, I know it's over two thousand. Good lord. Yeah, two thousand two hundred and seventy two minus, and then I still need three ten to go L five. <clears throat> still nineteen hundred. Batman, um, Cape Crusader. I have one thousand five hundred ninety eight over Max. And I have thirteen hundred over Bane. 855 over World's Greatest Detective. 632 over Batgirl. What? Yeah, I don't know how I have so many of her. I have 581 over White Leonard and Sinestro. What? (laughs) (laughs) How? I don't know. I have 535 over Batman Beyond. I don't see how you do this. I don't know. You must have, like, bought a crap ton of his, like, gem sales. Those Shway gems. Oh yeah, they did. If they did the Sway gems, I I always buy those usually because they're they were good. And the then real I, trap. Yeah, I have one thousand six hundred forty-one over Cyborg. Well, that was expected. Yeah. <laughs> Woof! Almost fifteen hundred over Supergirl. Good lord. So yeah, that's insane. Quite a few shards over. But anyway, the reason we bring that up is some kind of frag exchange. We're hopeful. Maybe that's coming. Yeah. Something. Yeah. Anything. Yeah. Give us anything, people. That's uh, being a little too optimistic. Well, I mean, they wouldn't have changed that for no reason. So there's some kind of reason. Yeah, there's got to be something coming to show reason to have that. Also, if you look on the uh, characters, you look right below the gear, the experience bar got moved up a little bit, and it looks like there's enough space for another button now. Yeah. So we're, we're hopeful that means something's coming. Now, we know we announced a couple podcasts ago that there were some items around the new one-year anniversary period that were supposed to have come out but have gotten pushed back. We don't know exactly what that is or what that means, but we're hopeful that maybe next month we'll see something. I, I wouldn't get my hopes up too high, but we're starting to get hopeful that there is something coming. Mm-hmm. Well, With these changes, yeah. it makes us think. 
Well, the, there was a teaser a while back saying from Zatanna saying like, oh, you can't have too many fragments or whatever in November. But they never specified which November to look for. <laughs> I don't think it's going to be next November. I, dear God, I hope not. But we... Uh... <laughs> Yeah, we, we've had numerous alliance mates, one longtime one, say that he was quitting, and me and Kage were like, no, stay one more month, because we hope next month is a month. So um, if anybody from DC Legends is listening, you really need something next month, because we're going to, I think we might lose a new wave of people. If mm-hmm. I think a lot of people are holding on to the end of the year. Yeah, I've, I've had to talk a lot of people off the bridge, and it's just, I should not have to talk to the fan base to get them to stay on board. Well, I, I think if they're if they don't have something ready, you know, and I understand things, you know, maybe they had for whatever reason plans change, can't get something out. If it can't make it by the end of the year, I think one thing that would really keep people is do a siege. There's no reason not to do a siege. The architecture's there, everything's there. So remove the revenge cuz everyone hated that and then release the siege cuz we all loved it. That will keep a lot of the long-time players engaged for at least another month. So if you need another month, that's the solution. And really, I think Siege should be a regular part of the game going forward. Maybe two-week Sieges or every other month or something, because Wraith PvP is just hot garbage. Yeah. <laughs> I won't disagree with that. <laughs> <laughs> Until the point system is fixed, we any veteran players really doesn't care about Wraith anymore. Yeah. That's why you only see a lot of top players uh, think, besides Militime in there anymore. And even Miller time this week took off. So, the um, yeah. so let's talk. Let's spin positive. What things do we want to see? You know, not not necessarily immediately, but over the course of next year, to keep this game going and vibrant. What what are the big changes? We'll start with you, Ogre. What what features or additions would you like? So to aside see? from the you know perceived shop exchange, charter change, and costume changing. Aside from those, right? Yeah, I mean, obviously we want to see those. We we expect or hope those are probably in the near future. But what other items, things that you would personally like to see in the game to going forward? One thing that I would really like to see is a shop interface for the PvP section that is the same as the Alliance section. Oh, yeah. I would, I'd definitely get on board with that. I think that would be awesome. I would love to see that. You know. Oh, look, I got my... My three katana shards that I need. Woo, buy those. You know, or whatever. It's like, I would love to be able to to pick and choose through things like that with the PvP side, not just the alliance side. What I would like to see with the PvP one is I don't want to just see the same items to be able to purchase, like three PvP energy, you know, whatever. I'd like to see other... Other things that you could purchase, like maybe one blue hope ring for it could be twenty six hundred or some insane cost, just because I have so much. Like I don't, I, as we just discussed, I only have one character I need now, and I have so many. I have one point five million alliance shards, and I have like one hundred and forty thousand PVP energy. So, Lord. just something else to spend on. Then again, yeah. if they added a frag, you know, if there's some kind of frag exchange that gives you something worthwhile, then that's fine. Actually, I wouldn't mind being able to buy shards. Yeah. You know they're never going to let that happen. They're going to do something. <laughs> I mean, even if it's to take your Legendary 6 at that point, I don't. <laughs> it's just something. Eventually, there's going to be a higher tier of something. So There's got to be something eventually that you can do with these extra shards. Cause, yeah. like, uh, you know what they're going to do? Then. They're going to actually let you have two of the same character. <laughs> I hope you can just steal just steal four Wonder Girls. (laughs) (laughs) Unstoppable. (laughs) (laughs) Um, Anything else, Ogre, that you want to see, or is that your? Uh, I would just you know just little things like a siege would be nice. You know, just just something to keep everybody going. Um, I know we didn't this month. We didn't have the. shortened availability list uh, difficult hero challenge. Yeah. We just started the Lobo hero challenge. Um, I, w- I would like to get those shirtless ones back because they were hard. Yeah, those were cool. I mean, they... I would love to get those back, so... How about you, Hopefully Kage? it was just a, a short thing. Me? I obviously would on board with a lot of what veterans want is just siege and everything, but I'd also like 
for more of a reason to be in an alliance? Like, why should I be in this top alliance when I can just go join a casual alliance? Or what's the purpose of an alliance besides grinding alliance points for shards I don't need anymore? Yeah, I think that's I think that's my number one thing aside from... Actually, I think that is my number one thing. I would love to see the daily, or the, not daily, but the every other day alliance PvP just mindlessly grind PvE points. Mm -hmm. I know that, you know, newer players and stuff, that's their way to contribute, and that's what they want, but give us something different. And they they can, and it needs to be something that, you know, lower tier alliances could contribute to, obviously, but, or newer players, excuse me, but there needs to be something worth doing as an alliance, because right now there's really... You know, other than just the perceived value of being in a top 10 alliance, I mean, UJLA, they take number one every week, but, you know, other than 40,000 alliance points, most top tier characters have zero use for. There's no reason to be in one. I mean, I love the idea of the Martian Manhunter because I thought that's what we were going to, a character that's only obtainable through alliance points. That's worth being in an alliance for, but you can't do a $100 sale during the event, and it shouldn't even be an event, it just should be a character that's only farmable through that. Eventually, everyone, yeah. you get them. Lower tier alliances, everyone. You know, have it so you, he's purchasable through alliance points, and he only shows up every now and again. Something like that is easy to implement, easy to add, and gives you a reason to be an alliance and to do the grind, but I, I really want them to get rid of that alliance PvE mission and do something different. Have some kind of coordinated content that's challenging, alliance wars, something, anything. Or, you know, point something that was thrown around. I know some people aren't going to like this, but, you know, every time you, you know, when it, your placement in PvP or Siege or something like that could be tied to some points. Or, you know, there's a lot of different methods you could do where it's part of your normal mm-hmm. gameplay. But, you know, coordinated, if they're not going to release coordinated Alliance content, at least make things that you're doing not just be a mindless sitting at your keyboard pressing the button or if you have max characters I, I said this but i know some people don't like the idea but if you have max characters let you speed force for the points it's just it's so boring to sit there for three hours pressing auto so anything yeah, that's, that you can do yeah because i know that's, we, my, we, that's the biggest critique of of, of alliances is just your there's no point even her even hurts like whales and lower alliances too just because they're grinding chapters one to three for no reason for their alliance. Yeah. And that I mean, just hurts their gameplay. And it's just, it's so boring. I know what, we have more alliance mates that want to leave the alliance because one, there's no value being in a top alliance. And two, it's just so boring. So they're just tired of doing it. I like, I mm-hmm. love, I love PVP days because I'll just throw a PVP character on and get a couple points. But PVP days, I have my preferred day because I can speed force all the other stuff. So anything that they do along those lines would be great. Obviously, the PvP point system, which I absolutely detest, I would love to see changed at some point next year. You know what? I'd love to see I, changed. You know, you know, something that I had an idea for PvP for points. What's that? If you had a level eighty or an L five, you know, character, that you would get a bonus point. Just a single point. A single point. I don't think that would really change anything. Well, no, no, no. Like, for each level 80 L5, so you have up to four of them. Oh, okay. So now you're getting 7 to 10 instead of 3 to 6. Yeah, that, I mean, that would definitely be worth it. But that I mean, would, it's would, not a lot, it. but it's enough to get people a reason to build out their roster. Yeah, but it, you still... You, the, the, the problem with... I like the idea, uh, but the problem is still... It's still... I guess we're going to talk about this later, but it still skews toward 20 points for if you have a lower geared roster. So, Right, I understand that, but what I'm saying is at least that would give us a reason right. to... Yeah, I, get yeah. I, I think there should be... There needs to be a reason to go max. And I've <coughs> never... I still, I've never seen a game that's a progression-based game not give you a reason to max out your characters and instead actually do the opposite. But we'll talk about that in a, a later episode in more detail. Um, so obviously I'd like to see those changes. I'd love to see new PvE content that's worth doing. I actually, for a long time, I was 
kind of against them adding a new tier of something to work towards. But I almost think that the game's getting to a point where you almost kind of need something to work towards. Gear 12? I don't, I don't know. I really don't want to see Gear 12 yet. I still think it's a little too soon. But <clears throat> I think they're, I mean, I guess if they're releasing Chapter 9 and it's challenging, but I just don't know how they can make it challenging with characters like Etrigan and Wonder Girl. And I just don't know how they're going to do it. Well, the other thing, too, is that when they experimented with, like, making the Atrocitus Hero Challenge more difficult, you had a lot of people, you know, crying about it. Oh, people my like, God, shut like the hell up. Yeah, well, people are always going to cry if something's challenging because they've been they've been handed everything so easy for so long that if it actually is challenging, people might be upset. But then again, Siege went over pretty well, and that was challenging. complaining about that very challenge being hard with people who had lower gear rosters. Yeah. You weren't getting complaints from the gear 11 team. No. I guarantee that. <laughs> it was gear 8 and 9. There was complaining about it. And suck it up, boys. <laughs> That's my opinion on that one. So I do think, yeah. you know, based on things that we're hearing, I do think that there's there's some positive stuff, hopefully, in the, in the hopper. If we see... Like if, if we get another siege in the near future, if we get chart exchange, maybe character costume change of some kind, those are definitely steps in the right direction. Um, and then I really hope we see some kind of endgame content. That's just anything that's worth, that's really worth being top tier. And that's kind of where I was thinking a, a new like. Like not like legendary six, you're not gonna farm two hundred fifty thousand. Where are, are legendary, are legendary events coming soon? Yeah, well, and you uh, you give them some kind of legendary power. Like you have legendary upgrades, and you don't want to pay two hundred fifty thousand. But some, you know, it could be a new currency or new just a new upgrade of some kind for completing the event with the character, and then it gives you something to do, and it needs to be level eighty L five challenge level to complete it. <clears throat> something along those lines discuss the future of since this is our final episode of we are legends we are not going anywhere we're moving to our news format as if you listen to the most recent episodes of the oddsman they just concluded their last episode not too long ago and we wish them a sad goodbye but we're all partnering together going forward they are actually the podcast that is the reason this podcast exists because we heard their podcast and decided we wanted to make our own too um, it's because our like second episode you were on, yeah. And, and then Slopey's was like, "Hey, look, we can do it." Yeah, Slopey's always wanted to do a podcast, and so he played this game too, and we were having fun playing it together. So we're like, "Oh, let's do our own podcast too." So that's kind of how this spurred. I can't believe we made it fifty episodes in over a year. So that's pretty awesome, right? <laughs> and we're able to. Anyway, so we will be moving on to the. WRL broadcast. We're gonna have content more frequently. They're gonna be shorter episodes, but as soon as news drops, we're gonna drop the news. We'll have a couple episodes with some titles that we, some topics we wanted to discuss that we alluded to earlier in this episode. So thanks for listening. We really appreciate everything you guys have done, and we will keep moving forward. WRL broadcast is coming soon to bring you all of the latest information. You could bore yourself with other stations like Fox News. <clears throat> the solution to these problems is we need more guns. We need to arm the staff, arm the teachers, even arm the students. Or you could tune into CNN. And now we have 24 hours of special coverage of Trump and the Russian collusion investigation. He's a racist Russian colluder! Instead, tune into WRL Broadcast to get all of the information that you need to make a real impact on your life, like legendary orders and team comp strategies. Get the news you need. When you need it. WROL Broadcast, coming to you live starting next week. Did you like the show? Consider becoming a patron. Go to patreon.com slash we are our, our legends for more information. Thanks for listening. <laughs> You're not going to say anything? We are legends.